Hello everybody, uh, I have Marika with me and uh, she has been with me through the whole journey of uh, Dropsmith before it got started, before we started developing it. We know each other for a long time now, she's been one of my great inspirations to create it, I had her in mind. Uh, and what I wanted to do is um, have her say how she saw the whole development, you know, how she uses it in her life, what it does to to impact uh, her work as a as a, a therapist, as a, as an educator, as a mom, and whatever. Uh, so, hi, Marika. <laughs> Hi, hello from sunny Malta. The first day without zero COVID patients here. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> so, just to introduce yourself a little bit, um, can you tell us about your background in aromatherapy? What is it that you do? Just in case somebody doesn't know about you for some bizarre reason. I'm Marika. I'm a clinical aromatherapist. I have studied aromatherapist uh, uh, aromatherapy for 20 years now. Um, I said I have I I, I have studied aromatherapy for 20 years because I'm still studying. And it will <laughs> never stop. Um, uh, I work uh, with oncology patients. I've been doing this work for five to six years now. Uh, I run an office at our main oncology hospital. Um, uh, I coordinate uh, the National Cancer Platform, which is an organization um, which has 12, 13 now NGOs under its wing. And uh, I also am the clinical aromatherapist in attendance at the hospital. Um, uh, I have two kids, <laughs> a 13 year old and a 10 year old, and apparently locked inside with both my kids it has been like this for about five weeks so excuse my the beautiful. State <laughs> beautiful appearance <laughs> um, um, it gets a little bit crazy during the day here so uh, yeah but Marika you haven't mentioned you also teach aromatherapy for uh, yes. quite a while I, I teach a BTCT syllabus, it's a, it's a UK syllabus, and I teach aromatherapy diploma and higher diploma. Um, I'm an internal quality assurer for, for, for BTCT as well. Um, uh, yeah. And now yeah. you're very I forgot. Fresh. Yeah, yeah, you forgot because you have so much. And you forgot also to mention you are opening, uh, you just opened a lovely Yes, we opened Aroma Hub. Um, I opened it actually with one of the best students I had um, and one of my greatest friends. Uh, we opened in January, um, but we had to close down uh, in March uh, due to the current circumstances. Um, now we're adapting. We're switching more to uh, online um, consultations to blending um, and delivering and uh, yeah. So, yeah so as you can see I invited Marika today because she's just a wealth of knowledge of practical information as well and she has so many areas that she can cover uh, oh, I don't know about that I'm, I'm, I'm oh I do <laughs> Um, well, during our first lessons with my students, actually during the first lesson, um, uh, the first thing I say is that I'm no expert um, <laughs> because I don't consider myself to be. What I consider myself to be is curious. Um, well, you are. <laughs> I feel that I have only touched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to aromatherapy, even after 20 years. And um, uh, it's, it's, uh, that's what I love about it. It's versatility and also it's depth and um, the, 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 the new things that you manage to, to, to get to know about, about your profession uh, when you really experience it. I have had, um, these, I have had three weeks, um, the past three weeks, I had an uh, inspiration block a creativity block, 
Um, I, I, I couldn't work. I couldn't even touch my wrist. And then one fine day, <laughs> I went into my blending room. And the particular oil I had bought from USA when, when I was with you, um, during one of my visits to various visits to your dropsmith stand, um, <laughs> uh, I found this oil and it was calling to me. It was Hanoki oil. Um, it's Japanese cypress, so I put a drop of the oil on on, uh, on, on one of your <laughs> perfume strips, <laughs> and I was uh, going around the house with it, and um, it taught me a lot. In a day, it taught me a lot, and um, the fact that I could actually experience the oil on, on, on that level was something new to me. And it was also due to the fact maybe that I was um, during my quiet time, my hibernation time, so I was more receptive to what it was trying to say. Uh, but it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. It was like it removed all the blockages I had. Um, in fact, the next day I exhausted myself because I wanted to catch up with three weeks of, of work and, and projects and articles I wanted to write. So now I'm taking a little bit of a step back as well. That's also what I love about aromatherapy. And here I agree with you, we're always beginners. There's just so much ground to cover, so many areas. It's endless, it's really endless. I also always feel like I'm a beginner. Do you know, and it's so funny when people call me an expert on something. I also, I feel just like, like what are you talking about? You know, there's just so much we don't know and we'll never know. Exactly. And, uh, and the amount of information is so overwhelming and that's why I did create Dropsmith, uh, just so I could get it off my back, you know, and put it in one, in, in all in one place because it was starting to be impossible and to remember. That's the beauty of it. it it's, it's the accessibility of information um, in one place. Um, one of the most important things in all the aspects of my work as an aromatherapist, be it at the hospital, be it at my, my business now, be it also um, during my lessons, um, is time. Mm -hmm. um, so for me to have, to have something which, is re which I know is reliable, um, and, uh, information which is highly reliable um, is an import is, is very important because I can actually check myself um, and also I can I can show what I'm talking about. Another beautiful thing is the visual aspect of it. Yeah, I need the visuals, the mm -hmm. colors, and the the the. It's clean. The screen is clean when you look at it, so there is no. No, no um, business about it. Um, and actually, then when you start clicking on the stuff, you you say, "Oh, um, there's more information here." And then it, it leads you to more, and it leads yes. you to more, and you actually start thinking, "How the hell did you do this?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's my <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sleepless nights and things like that. <laughs> But um, yeah, it is a Pandora box once you start looking at the oils. And, and like you said, I wanted it to look professional because um, aromatherapy is a profession and we, I wanted it to, to help it, at least you know, in some areas where I work, it's not looked at as a profession or um, professional enough. So by having this tool where you can just show it very clearly, like you say, you know, and professionally and a, a modern way of, of calculating things and with the chemical components, you can just, um, you know, you can have the reassurance, you can have the, the, the scientific part of it taken care of. And that's, I think, um, what is uh, most sought for right now at this point. Yes. But you know, you said articles. That's something I uh, haven't talked about yet. How does it help you with articles? It helps me because I, I would know it's a little bit difficult to talk about writing at the moment because, as I said, I, I, I had a little bit of uh, inspiration and creativity block. <laughs> they usually 
what I want to write about usually comes to me either before I sleep or as well as I'm having a bath during my downtimes. And funnily enough, now that I've had a lot of downtime, they don't want to come. <laughs> um, usually there's an idea of what I want to write about and I have the, the physical aspect of my work, which, which I know how, 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 how I'm going to write about, and also the emotional part, which usually, usually is the trigger to write an article. I would have experienced something at work, and that would be the trigger to write an article. Um, but then I would want to back it up with research. So when I tap into Dropsmith, and usually it's always open on my on my laptop. And I have it also on my iPad. Um, so when I tap into it, I can actually uh, see the the scientific part and actually check that what I'm. I tend to run a lot on my emotional um, on my emotions. You know that I'm Mediterranean. <laughs> Um, so I have to check that what I, I want to say um, is, is backed up by, by science and uh, Dropsmith helps me with that. So you can help, like it's easier for you to get references, exactly. it saves you time that way. Exactly. But just so people have an idea, how much time would you usually spend on it that Dropsmith saves you for an article? Um, I would usually spend a quarter of an hour after I write the article, just to, to check my references and list down my references. Without Dropsmith? No, without Dropsmith it would take me a lot of time. That's what I was asking. Um, without Dropsmith, so with Dropsmith it's like half an hour? It would hour take and me a lot of time because I wouldn't have all the information in one, yeah. in one place. I would have so to, to, to look for it, stuff. So yes, that would take me uh, practically hours. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to compare and because if people haven't done this before, they don't know how long it takes to find research to back your stuff. Yeah. So with Dropsmith, you would have half an hour, but without it, it would be hours, would be sometimes hours. days. Yeah, for and, me, and even be days day. because yeah. you you won't uh, you have to sift through a lot of information to actually get to what you really want. Yeah, yeah. So that that's what I wanted to see if it works for you as well. Okay, great. So, any other areas you use it for? You know, school, uh, teaching. Blending. When I'm teaching, especially essential oil chemistry, the fact that I have everything, I can I can access it and I put everything on screen. Um, uh, uh, it it gives my students a lot of what Rian in our maman says uh, are aha moments. <laughs> <laughs> when you actually first you put out the theory and the, the students are trying to to absorb that, and then you actually put Dropsmith on screen and and they can actually see what you're talking about visually with in colors. And they actually get aha moments, like, oh, that's so easy. Yes, 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 that, that's why I created it. I used to do, I used to draw it for my students and then show them. And then it was like exactly. all these aha moments. And how do they enjoy it? Do, you, do they like using it in class? They use it in class, but then it helps them a lot in, in their studies. And even afterwards, when they're just starting out and they they want to blend, um, uh, it's, it's like having having their tutor with them. Oh, that's so lovely. Uh, uh, I'm available to my students most of the time um, through messages and through Facebook. Um, my my ex-students can, can actually vouch for that because once I'm their teacher, I'm always their teacher <laughs> and they know that. But there are times when I'm dealing or tending to patients or where I'm um, doing treatments where, I, where I, I, I cannot get to them quickly. So they have their tutor with them. Oh, that's so cool. Drops me. Thank you so much. That sounds very nice. Okay, so you use it for articles, you use it for your students. You said you use it yes. for your patients. In the hospital, yes. To, mainly to back up your... Uh, so you create your blends. Back up my choices, exactly. And to, to also um, uh, justify my choices when I have to. Yes, and in, in palliative care you have to do that often. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, you, do you keep your, um, does it help you to keep your uh, recipes at one place? Do you use that feature? 
Um, once we started our business, we ha- we are still working on 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 uh, keeping our our recipes. Um, we haven't inputted recipes in Dropsmith as yet, but we we intend to because that's also that would be beneficial for us because again everything would be in one place. Right now we're using we're using other things because we were just starting out so we were testing the waters we, we're still writing on Excel and that's a great that's a great um, uh, improvement for me because Lorraine does that my my partner in business because before they were written down in an old book which used to <laughs> I know get I know that too <laughs> uh, many times a year um, so. Uh, now I have someone to actually write write down and input the recipes. We'll get to putting them to, into Dropsmith as well. Because I kind of imagined it, you know, you would have your recipes in iPad or whatever, and then you would show it to your uh, exactly. clients, and it would look very nice and professional yes. and colorful. Yes. That's we'll get I... there once, once we reopen. So I just wondered if you actually do that or you don't. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I know I have the possibility to because I have I, I have put put re- some recipes on there um, uh, during during my work. Um, wow, That's for your patients, yeah, yeah, I know. We my to... patients, but but I haven't got into that yet. We are just starting out. We're just starting out. I wish you all the best for that. I really do. You Thanks. you're a wonderful therapist, and um, Thank I'm you. sure you will get to to share yes. that with. We'll get to that. This is this is a very difficult time for us as as therapists, um, uh, because okay, you adapt to the situation and you switch to online consultations, you switch to delivering your blends, but the most important part of my work is the element of touch. Yeah, I feel that is highly highly important. And it's something I have been stressing about for the past years. So the fact that I cannot do this at the moment really hurts, especially when it comes to my patients. Um, I have I have uh, ended up um, talking to to patients um, regarding uh, life and death situations and and answering existential questions through WhatsApp which is highly impersonal, but yes. that's the only thing I can do at the moment. So uh, we're, we're adapting. We're trying to adapt to the situation and, and we're praying that it will be over soon. Well, I, I, my heart out to you, you know, you're doing a wonderful job. And I'm talking about it because I know that there are many people in, 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 in my situation because I, I, I have followed um, my colleagues um, from around the world, and it's a common feeling. It is. Um, uh, and uh, when someone says adapt, um, yes, we, we are adapting, we are trying to adapt, but there's something that's really missing, and um, no amount of adapting can, can actually change that. So we just have to wait for it to unfold and for things to get better. Yeah, yeah, I know. I also uh, talk to our colleagues, and that's another reason why we created this uh, workshop is because this is what we could do, you know. I was waiting for it, hoping for it to pass, but it just didn't, and I kept on getting in questions about it. And then I asked Madeleine and other colleagues to contribute, and it's been just so wonderful. So many people um, contributed with, you know, uh, with their suggestions and the community. That's the beauty of the aromatherapy this, work. That's this what I'm always just saying awesome. about. It's yes. the, 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 the community um, and the network around you. Even though people are miles apart and yes. all over the world, you know you can actually tap into that energy and do the many yes. times that you need to. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, with this workshop also with me, um, I didn't know it was going to take this long. Uh, I thought I would do just like three lessons and then involve you guys to you know help more as we did as well. But it turned out to be six lessons and it turned nice. out that I would... And it will turn out to be more. In, uh, hopefully it will be more because people were showing you know, interest in having more of this information and, and, and we'll see where it takes us. It's, 
it's a really lovely community. It's an unfolding story. Absolutely, aromatherapy is an unfolding story and with many, many layers to uncover. <laughs> exactly. So with the Dropsmith, I hope to cover at least, you know, the ones we can, um, as best as we can. Thank you so much, Marika, for taking the time to Thank you. to share your wisdom with us. Do you have um, Do you have a recipe you want to, or something you want to share at the end of the video? What What are you looking for? Nothing. Is that's... it something that's helping me at the moment? For example, what would you? Yeah, nothing. This is just a spontaneous question. I and your daughter at the back. <laughs> I cannot get enough of petit grain uh -huh. at the moment. Um, uh, it's something I turn to during my downtimes, so uh, it has to feature somehow, and I have been been using using that a lot. Um, Cypress. Mm -hmm. um, it removes blockages. It moves things, so I've been using that a lot as well. Um, uh, my rosetta. Oh, that's very special. It opens up the heart, so I I I I, I need that. And uh, chamomile, chamomile blue. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I don't know why, why it's been calling to me, but it's it's uh, I know I know why, but uh, I don't know why I feel like I need it so much. Um, uh, so. Uh, so you would I, would, I would prepare an inhaler to, 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 to accompany me, which would contain about four drops of petit grain, three drops of cypress, two drops of rose data, and two drops of chamomile blue. That would be my, my ideal inhaler at the moment. So just, just to help me move through this, and uh, in, in a relaxed state. So this is a wonderful recipe to end this video for now, our... I, now, if I don't forget, when we, when we uh, finish this, I'll go and put it on Dropsmith. So <laughs> and so can everybody else. They can go and check out why this combination is so special and what does it do for us. So it's, it's your recipe for us to support us at this time, to give us yes. that. That what I mouth. feel like needing at the moment. So uh, <laughs> um, I think I think what what get what what is what is beautiful about this is that what we're feeling, uh, although we're all inside at home in different parts of the world, what we're feeling is not only ours. No. What we're feeling is collective. So. Um, uh, yeah, I think that we need we need to work on this on a collective level instead on an of an individual level. And that's what we're doing with this as well. Exactly. Yeah. You're so beautiful inside and out. Thank you so I much. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed this.